I'm Kainton the Genius and we are going to be looking at something that has been a problem for many data scientists for some time. In case you don't know, I'm Kainton the Genius. I've been a data scientist for about 15 years, also been a machine learning expert and I'm interested in developing many other uh, uh, machine learning experts and data scientists using the knowledge I have. So if you want to join me, if you want to learn from me, please hit the subscribe button below. If you have any challenges at all, uh, please also let me know in the comment box below. I'd like to hear from you and I'd like you to subscribe to my channel as this kind of motivates me to continue doing more. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below now. So we are going to be seeing something that has been a problem. For instance, how to read different data files or uh, file formats in Jupyter Notebook. We have .tst, .data, .csv, .xls, .xlsx, and other file formats. I'm going to be showing you how to read all these data uh, formats. So the first thing I'd like to do, I would like to show you collection of files. I've gotten collection of files right here. So my CSV, we have txt, we have xlsx, and we have uh, we should have the .data at some point. So I think I should have the data right inside here. Um, let's see. So, um, have the data file. I think I should have it. So, yeah, you can see breast cancer with cancer the data. So, how do we read all these file types? So, let's take them bit by bit. So, let's start with um, let's start with reading a CSV file. We are going to be reading a CSV file, and I'm going to start a new notebook. I actually uh started a new notebook so let me open the new notebook i was working on reading files so for you to read a file you need to import pandas what happened here oh, so i will actually start a new notebook so i'll start a new a brand new notebook python 3. so for you to read a file you need to import pandas so just say import pandas as PD. The interesting thing is you can read any kind of file at all. So once you import pandas, so the first thing we are going to be talking about is reading a CSV file. That is the easiest reading a CSV file. So in that in that case, you simply say uh, CSV data. So now I want to assign the content of the file to a to the a, to a variable called CSV data is equal to PD dot read. So read underscore CSV, and then you specify the location of the data. So it's in drive D uh, slash data slash at me dot CSV. So if I say next, now if I look at this file I read, I can just say CSV, CSV data dot head, just to check the first five rows of this data. And let's see it's read it reading correctly. So you can see it reading correctly. All right, the next one we are going to be looking at is how to read .txt file. Actually, there are two ways to read a .txt file. For instance, let's take a look at how this brain size 2.txt. So one thing you can do is to simply change the extension to .csv. So if you change the extension to .csv, uh, you see that, yes, go ahead to change it. If you now try to open this .csv file, let's say you open it with Microsoft Excel, it's going to, yeah, so it opened, but you can see it doesn't make any sense. So it means that we're going to leave it as .test, and we try to read it uh, as .test file. So let's see, let me change it back to a .text file. So I'm going to change the extension to .txt. So if you want to read a .txt file, you can say read underscore table. So let's see, I can say uh, .txt data is equal to read, sorry, pd.read underscore table and specify the location of the txt file. So in this case, the file name is what? Is brain size 2txt Brain size 2. Brain size 2.txt. Now, if I read this file in this way, remember I mentioned read 
uh, on the Scott table. If I read it, it's read in, but now we have error. So it says brain brain size 2.txt does not exist. So let's see. Let's see. Actually, you are going to use a forward slash data. That is the location. And let's run again. All right. So we write the, this file that is a .txt file. But the challenge is whether it actually read in the right format. So let's just check it. TXT data dot head. In case you don't know, Pandas reads a file and stores it in, so in something called a data frame, right? So you can see that it doesn't make any sense at all. So to solve this problem, you can specify that the, the data, uh, the values in the data set, they are separated using semicolon. So at this point, you can just specify SEP equals and specify that it's separated with semicolon in this way. So let's read it again. Now we read it again. And if you view the data, you can see that the data read in correctly. So take note, sometimes it may be separation. The separation might be comma. Sometimes it may be semicolon. All right, let's now look at the next one, read. Uh, reading Microsoft Excel files. So if I go to my folder, you can see that we have some Excel files. So let's take, for instance, we have uh, linear regression.xlss. Let me just open it. Let's see what is inside. So in case of Excel, you can actually try to read using read.table. But in this case, I'll have to read it in, the, in a different way. So I'm going to just delete this tool and delete these two as well. All right, so I'm going to save. So this file is linear regression.xls. So for you to read an Excel file, you'll need to import two things. So you can save from pandas, you need to import Excel writer and Excel file. So you're going to save from pandas, import Excel writer, and from pandas, import Excel so if you do these two imports, then you'll be able to read Excel files from your system. So the name of the file we want to read is uh, linear regression.xlsx. So let me just read it. I uh, can say uh, Excel data. This time you are going to say pd.read underscore Excel. Make no mistake about it pd.read underscore excel then you specify the location of the data the location of the data is drive d data and the name of the file is linear regression dot excel x xls x i think this is it so if i run it at this point you can see that it reads incorrectly so let me view the data by saying excel data dot head to view the first five rows in this data and you can see that it's reading perfectly well. So this is how to read Excel files. Let's now look at the last one, dot data. So if you look at this place, you can see this breast cancer with contain the data file. How do you read a dot data file? If you have a dot data file, one thing you can do is to try to change the extension, the file extension. But another way is to simply say, let me just call it uh, cancer data is equal to, this time you can try pd.read underscore table and then specify the location of the, of the data uh, dot data. So we are reading the data file now and I'm going to run it and it reads in, but now let's see if it works perfectly well. So let's say cancer data head just to view the first five items in this data set. So you can see everything is messed up and you can see that it doesn't really work well, well, very well. So what you can do is to check the separation between the values and the separation is given as comma. So what it means is at the point you are reading this file, you simply specify SEP, which means separation is equal to comma. Once you do this, you can read it again and now if you view it you can see that the data read correctly so the same way you read x xlsx is the same way you read xls 
So if I go back to the presentation we are working with, you can see that we've covered how to read files in Python because this can actually be a problem for many, many data, new data scientists or new data analysts. So for others, for other formats, because you might receive other formats, what you should do is to use pd.read underscore pd table and then go ahead to read that file format. Once you display the file format, then check the, the, the separation of the what the delimiters of the, the, the character that separates the values and just specify it. I'd like to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe to my channel so that we can work together. And also please leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. Please share it around as well. And also feel free to like it. I remain kind on the genius and we see in another nugget for data scientists and machine learning experts.